It's huge. I mean, it's out the roof. Um, we feel like we can't be stopped. No matter how much time we have, no timeouts, what, whatever need be, we'll, we'll go out there and do it. Um, and that, that confidence really shows while we're out there. And the offensive line, the confidence is, is, so, is so huge now. Um, in the earlier weeks of the season, we didn't have the good enough confidence to you know, be able to play with anybody, but now we think we can. So. At what point did, do you think you started getting that confidence? I'm not sure. Um, you know, when we played Old Miss, it wasn't that good of a game. That was probably our last pretty bad game. But, you know, we didn't think they were that much better than us. You know, and they are, they're the best defense out there. And, you know, we kind of thought to ourselves, hey, you know, these guys, we can, we can push them around a little bit. I mean, we got – we, we can block them on pass plays. Why, why can't we just do this every week? You know, and confidence started from there, and then Dobbs coming in and being able to make us right when we're wrong. You know, even if we do mess up, have MA, or just get our feet wrong, you know, he, he, he's able to step up in the pocket, move around, and make it to where we're, we're right at the end of the day. Kyler, just how much trust do you guys have in Josh for what he's done over the past couple of weeks? A, a lot. Uh, we have huge trust in Doc, Josh. I mean, I, I think. I think he can do whatever he wants out there. Um, you know, he's a captain of the field. Um, he plays it so well, being able to read, run, pass, all that kind of stuff. And I'm really proud of what he's done these past few weeks. How does it make you guys feel as a line when you see some of the other guys on offense giving that extra effort and really pushing hard? Jalen Hurd, Jason Croom on a pass, carrying a few guys. It'll make you guys feel good too. Oh, it gets us so fired up. You know, it, it makes us want to do that the next play. Um, being able to watch Jalen break tackles. You know, watch Kroom say, no, I deny it. I deny this. I'm not I'm not going down. Or just being able to take off. Everybody thinks he's just a big wide receiver. He's slow, but then he shows his speed. And that really fires guys up. And it, it happens all over the field, you know, defense. Them getting a sack on third down, that gets us real fired up, saying, I mean, they're they're stopping them for us. Let's go score for them. So. Alan, what do you think it says about the maturity of, of some of the younger guys that are playing really significant roles and you guys are leaning on them, whether it's Dobbs or, or Hurd or some of the offensive line, that they're able to, to handle it and not thrive? It's huge. Um, the freshmen coming in, it's so hard for them. You know, They've never never seen the game. I remember when I was a freshman just practicing, you know, like this is so fast to me. You know, I've never seen anything like this. And their maturity level to be able to come in and say, you know what, I, I got this. You know, I, I can do this. I have people that have my back. You know, that's how we like to see it. Like, they can lean on me if they need anything. They can lean on Marcus, lean on Gillum, lean on Mac, and you know, uh, us older guys, and say, "Hey, I need some help. We got you. We, you just run, Jalen. You know, you just pass that ball, Dawes. We got your back." So, Keller, you've kind of played out of position. Though. You're playing tackle when you're more of a natural guard. Um, but you guys have practiced so many of the different positions. The possibility of losing Mac. How much does that all that work moving around help you guys as a unit? A lot. Uh, you know, from the beginning of the season, we've all been able to play different positions. Um, center, I, I can, I can really play them all, and Marcus can play all interior. Gillum can play both sides. Coleman Thomas can play both sides. Brett can play both sides. Uh, we we're able to move around a lot, and our tests every week we have tests on Friday, and you have to know everybody's blocks. You just it's not just yourself. So every week we're tested on if we if I know the center's block, if I know the right tackle's block, and I'm at left, you know, being able to being able to be smart enough to answer all those questions is really what's gotten us ready for anything. Coach says you guys have had the confidence all year long. The results may not have been there, but now that they are coming, what's that confidence level like now on this team? It's huge. I mean, it's it really is out the roof. Like I said earlier, um, the confidence level that we have in each other is what's the big part. You know. I have so much confidence in Gillum on a pass play, on a run play. If it's going that way, I'm saying, you know what, Gillum's probably going to get a knockdown right here. He's going to be able to spring something. I have trust in Hurd saying he's going to break a few tackles, and he's not going to get denied a first down on a third and one, fourth and one. You know, I have trust in Dobbs saying he's going to make this throw, he's going to make this run. He's going to be able to get us to a first down, get us to a touchdown. You know, we all have trust in each other, and that really makes our confidence go up.